hey guys welcome back to another vlog vlog number four and um, i want to share with you my journey back from rome uh, it was quite uh exciting but also very tedious and exhausting journey and also i wanted to share with you what lessons i have learned from my journey to rome and my journey back and i hope you enjoy it and i hope that you guys continue to subscribe to my channel to like it and to share it enjoy so i'm here in stockholm and <laughs> the worst thing happened to me i booked a train to go back to umio and i ended up finding out that it was not a direct train like I literally have to get out of the train four times before my destination so that means every hour I have to get out of the train to to change at a different station so I can't even sleep I mean it's midnight right now my train is moving in the next 40 minutes I'm just pressing myself for this it's not what I signed up for but man sometimes life just throws you these things I'm sure it was there when I was booking but because everything is written in Swedish and my Swedish is still so poor I don't know how I missed that oh my gosh I'm just so mad I'm so mad but I'm like Linda I don't have time to be mad just get over it and move on so that's gonna be my life for the next eight hours changing trains every hour for the four times and then another train and then changing lastly for another three and a half hours <laughs> and the struggle continues i didn't realize that one of my stop off points there was a waiting period of three hours i'm in a place called sunsville and i've waited for three no i mean i mean yevle and i have to wait for a train to Su to sunsville for three hours every place is closed they closed the train station like check that out of we have to stand out here in the cold because there is no restaurant open there's no cafe open The whole station is closed, so there's no warm place to sit and wait. And the chronicles continue. So I've entered a lift and I've just not pressed where I'm going, so the door has closed and the exhaust is on. And this is where I'm going to stand for the next three hours as I wait for my train because I've walked around a bit of the central area and everywhere is locked there's nowhere to stand or enter and the train station will open at 6 in the morning because there's some event happening these people are very selfish how can they do this knowing that they're people who travel in the middle of the night and we need to be in a warm place for our layover so you can imagine I've just decided to be shameless and enter this lift it's a glass lift so everyone who's walking past can see me standing here not moving but i really don't give a damn like i'm at a place where i'm like it's too cold to even care about people's opinions right now <sighs> but uh we'll get there <laughs> so today is monday and that journey was so difficult i have been sleeping for the last three days like i arrived on friday morning i slept the whole day saturday i went to the gym then i went to town came back and just slept the rest of the afternoon and evening yesterday slept the rest of the evening today i even missed my morning gym class i had a class in the morning and i slept through it like there's just this sleep that is just weighing down on me because of that journey. I get constant headaches. <sighs> oh my gosh. Like, the minute I strain myself, like I ride my bicycle a long distance, I get a headache. 
I don't know, that journey just did a number on me. So, uh, but I'm here, I'm packing. Uh, I know I still have a week and some days left, but I'm a person who plans early, so I've already started packing and everything. And I'm just ready to get out of here. Like, I'm just ready to go. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of this place and I want to go home. The issue is trying to decide what to pack, what to leave. I just have, like, I have two suitcases and my laptop bag. That's the only luggage I can carry. Anything else, I'd have to pay for extra luggage, which I don't want to. So... <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually considering buying an extra bag than going through this hassle of packing. But I think it's mentally teaching me to just let go of things. There are certain things I just have to let go of. And that's a bit difficult to do. But I think it will make me better, like, later to just move and have not be attached to things. I didn't really get a lot of things when I was here, but I still have things and it's like, do you need these things? What do you need? What don't you need? I don't know. I want to show you guys the number of clothes I'm pretty much giving away. Like, all these bags are just huge bags of clothes i'm not going with like i'm just giving away um <laughs> it's somehow painful and there's more stuff here in boxes that i'm also giving away <sighs> it's like painful but then also relieving at the same time of, oof, i don't have to carry this stuff with me but it's like ugh, it's like a bittersweet situation so pretty much these heap of clothes here on the suitcase are the only clothes I'm going back to Uganda with. Like that's it. The rest is my sewing equipment, my video equipment. Like that's the stuff that's important to me. Yeah, my room was fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, it's not. It's never the same like being there, but. It was really amazing, but it also opened up my eyes to the, to the similarities that I see in, in like Italy and in Uganda. I think you come with a mentality as an African that Europe is just so wealthy and they have it all figured out. And then you go to Rome and you see people living in some really nasty living conditions. And then you realize, okay, <laughs> maybe we're not so bad in Africa. Um, okay, people here are poor yeah there are lots of poor people in europe and then you and who are europeans not just immigrants but they're europeans and they're they're not doing well financially especially when i was in europe sudan is different but it made me then appreciate and also work i think on my psyche as an african you always feel like everyone else is better than you because that's what media has portrayed for us that everyone else in the world is much better than us and I'm like, no, I, I was born in a middle class home and I was fine. And I've never lacked, I've never been in a poor situation. So then you think, okay, maybe we need to change the way we mentally see ourselves and also how we reflect ourselves against the other world and start to appreciate what we have and build what we have and actually protect what we have. And just seeing how great the Roman Empire was and how much money they had and how much stuff they had, it just, it's, I think it took me to another level. And it's like, okay, these guys are kind of living in their past glories. Like, it's no longer the Roman Empire, it's now Italy. <laughs> and as Africans, I think we also live a lot in our past, in our past, um, when we were colonies, when we were sold as slaves and we don't, we're not coming out of that mindset to be the people we should be today for our countries. Yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you on this week's vlog. Yeah. And uh, now I go back to packing. Ooh. <laughs>